this is where your pituitary gland sits. So your pituitary gland sits right in here in this little structure. So this is right here. So right next to the cella tersica, we've got these two foramen right here. So I'm sticking, I'm sticking the, the pencil through here. This is the optic foramen. Take a guess what the optic foramen are for. So it's for the optic nerves of your eyes, okay? So your pituitary gland sits right here, okay? So in the Bible, right, in the Old Testament is, uh, right, the story of the Israelites going up against their mortal enemy, the Philistines, right? Uh, so uh, the uh, Israelite army is controlled by King Saul, right? And then uh, they go to meet the Philistines in battle. And the Philistines have a great warrior among them. What's the name of the, the warrior that uh, is with the Philistines? A few guys went to Sunday school? Is it the Goliath? The, uh, Goliath. Maybe. Right. So Goliath, he's a gigantic, he's a gigantic warrior for the Philistines. For three straight days, he comes out and he challenges anybody in the Israelite army to single combat. Right. So nobody no, nobody challenges him until the third day when a young shepherd boy named David, David comes forward. So what does David do? He takes a rock, puts it in a sling, right? Hits Goliath right between the eyes, kills Goliath. Okay. So Goliath is depicted as being a giant, right? He's depicted as, as nine Roman feet tall, uh, which is a little shorter than they, but still would have been a gigantic person. Okay. What causes people to be that gigantic? Pituitary issues. It's so usually a pituitary tumor causing uh, what we call acromegaly or gigantism. A couple of things what happens. So if you have a pituitary tumor, number one, it's going to typically uh, pinch on the optic nerves. So people that have uh, are suffering from a pituitary tumor typically have blurred vision due to the fact that it's uh, compressing on the optic nerves. Also, because as if the tumor is large enough, it's going to make the bone tissue here of the sphenoid and the ethnoid bone thin and brittle. So, if there really was a giant named Goliath, and he was a giant because he had gigantism, hit them square between the eyes with a rock, very likely would have killed him. Right? So there actually is some, some actual valid based on whether or not that story actually is true, that's a whole different debate, but right, there is a plausibility that if there was a giant named Goliath, hit them square in the eyes with a rock with sufficient velocity, would have been enough to actually kill them. Right? So this is called the hypophysial fossa or cella tersica. Okay? Alright, that's it for that. Alright, so go ahead and take a look at all this stuff. I'll